have her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah. Really. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Looks like a carjack. Imagine this being used on a body. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Like chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay?
as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof sounds good nice and quiet everybody there's some light up there good gotta get my ass off this ladder Just fucking peachy. Lee! Lee! Oh god! Are you alive? Get up! I can't move! God damn, I'm stuck! You have to pull yourself up! Good job. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. I was just, uh, showing off some acrobatic skills. Felt like a good time. Come on, Lee. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters.
bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? of them Jesus now get back here I think I have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far I'm so fucked Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Lee's just tired of shit now. Oh, did they take the Holy boat? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Come on. Just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey, guys. Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. No fucking way. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind, but the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? 
Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid! What is it? Front doors! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! <laughs> Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. But we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III, Industrial... Mead? Krista. 
Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. Yeah, dumbass. We shouldn't have come up here. Where else would we have gone? The streets are a river of walkers, and they were coming in from all sides. We're no good to Clementine dead. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate. I will. You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine. That's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. 
Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Find her a family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah, of course. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone, too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Has Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. <laughs> 